name's Tony Fawcett, and welcome to Now Daft. Right, that's about as festive as I get. It's Christmas Eve. I said I would never ever do it again. It is the start of the festive 500. Last year it nearly broke us. This year, however, uh, I haven't got a lot of racing on, so I thought let's start it and see how we'll get on. The weather outside is not too bad, it's not miserable, it's actually quite sunny, looking quite favourable. So the plan is today to get out with Adam and Jeff and uh, we're going to head up to Bellingham and uh, head to the Fountain Cottage Cafe. Probably one of the one of my favourites in, uh, in the area, quite looking forward to it. I will be treating myself to a cheeky chip butty. I know, very northern. It is a chip butty with gravy, but it's absolutely incredible. A massive huge thank you to Wahoo. My head unit broke two days before the Festa 500. And uh, yeah, that was going to cause us no end of stress. I got in touch with one of their SEALs reps. He agreed to loan us uh, Wahoo Rome for the whole of the Festa 500 period. It is the Wahoo Rome 2. So it's got the colour screen and everything. So a massive thank you to Wahoo for sorting us out. The morale and enthusiasm for the Festa 500 is an absolute all time high because I do have a new winter bike. New winter bike, it is the Attic Gravel Tuned. I'm running it as a winter bike slash summer gravel race bike. I suppose, let's go and show you the bike and uh, let's get cracking with the natin and start this Festa 500. But most of all, now daft. There she is, with her mud guards all on. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful, isn't she? I think it looks quite stealth with the mud guards on. I have got a full video coming on the full bike check, so let's get cracking with the nothing. The new Wahoo. Thank you, Wahoo, for sorting us out. It's uh, it's much appreciated. Best of 500 crew, Gobic Ambassador, Gobic, Gobic Ambassador Jeff Mount, uh, Prize Knacker Adam Mark, Bats Ambassador, Best of 500 lads. That's it, let's get it done. I've never come to today. <laughs> it's only 300 miles. Sure, could rattle it off in the, the few daylight. Well, there is people that do it in the water, isn't there? No. Absolute weirdos. And even worse than them are the people that rattle it off in a water on a turbo trainer. Oh. Dreadful. That's like not even riding a bike, is it? Dreadful. You can't get anything from that. No, no, no. There's no amusement, no fun. It's not like you're going to get superb crack that I'm going to get on the cafe run with these guys today. Exactly. Tradition. Tell us, it was tradition. They didn't do it last year. But we did. We just did it without you. You weren't allowed out. I had a few comments last night on me dad bod. You look like you've had a good Christmas, like. <laughs> it hasn't even started yet. <laughs> right. Enough of your patter. Most of all, lads. No daft. No daft. That was the sensations of the first 25 mile of the Best of 500, Jeff. Feeling good. Sun's out. Temperatures are good. They're all sky high. Cracks, actually, even from you, Tony, cracks pretty good. Yeah, life's good, guys. I've just seen a man playing a, a flute at the side of the road. Quite random. The things you see whilst riding to Bellingham. Day one, hashtag festive 500. Most of all, Adam. No doubt. Hey, we're just there uh, discussing the spouse's Christmas presents that we've all bought. I uh, bought ridiculously priced perfume that Alison's just basically going to slap on for fun. And there, uh, the lovely Adam <laughs> has bought Fear a scan because she's pregnant. Now, I personally think that's the shittest present ever. Yeah, it's not even an actual picture. It's just, it's just a voucher. I oh, should get to see the baby. What's more? I'm not on Christmas Day though. It makes no sense. Put this right off this present, mate. Like. That costs a fortune, no. So what you bought her? T tell, tell the viewers what you've bought your lovely pregnant wife it's for pregnant, Christmas. So that's it. She wants to like to see the baby again, like, you know, on the telly. So there's a place down the road that does these scans and that. Right. So I just bought her a voucher. So is it like 3D? No, nah, she doesn't like it. You can get 4D, but creeps her out, so I didn't go for that one. Went to the cheapest option. I, I, I'm really struggling with this, like, why you think this is a good present. Honestly, it's blown my mind. Like, I personally think my perfume 
and the slippers that I bought Alison is a shit present but a, a, a scan for a baby that she gets free on the NHS anyway <laughs> just seems a bit ah uh, seems a bit I've daft. Got, got some sweets as well there's this last make sweets and uh lovely got some of them I've got uh I hope this isn't going out before Christmas <laughs> she makes sweets like in she, lovely she buys them and like buys them in and then puts them in a box you know like a sticker on <laughs> what like heroes in fucking celebrations <laughs> Have you bought them? Hi, they're a favourite. Got these cards for the baby. See, it's like baby's first, like walk and that. See, like you write the date on and that. Got gonna... some photos for our Polaroid camera. You can film. Basically, I'm about to when I get back because he's a put his right off. <laughs> he tells me that's not possible. <laughs> so we're just getting all the Christmas selfies done before we roll into Bellingham. He's a bit filthy, but there she is. Look at that. Absolute beautiful, absolute pleasure to ride, and I think you would agree, it looks amazing with the mud guards on. I am an absolute fan of mud guards. Uh, they're like an absolute game changer. They're an actual must when you ride up in the northeast because uh, everywhere is just like shitty roads and standing water. So just keeps you nice and clean, makes it a bit more comfortable. Got the first 34 mile of the Festive 500 done. Yeah, we get a decent ride in a day. Hopefully get close to the 100 mile mark, which should take a fair amount off. Yeah, what an absolute brilliant day. I hope it's like this for the rest of the Festa 500, because this would just make it ridiculously easy. Anyway, let's get cracking with the napping. Into Bellingham for a lovely bit of chip butty action. These lads are on the full Monty today, which is a nice breakfast. Is the cafe open? That's the big question. That is the big question. I personally don't think the cafe is going to be open. That is the big question. We're almost to the cafe. We're about 10 mile away? Five. Five. Five mile away from the cafe. And uh, yeah, none of us have actually checked if it's open on Christmas Eve. Anyway, most of all. No daft. The cafe, Christmas Eve, as I thought, is well and truly shut. Uh, Jeff said it would be open, absolutely fuming with him. So I'm not going to get a chip butty. I've ridden all the way up to Bellingham for a chip butty, and we're not going to get one. There's nothing else to come to Bellingham for. All the best, yeah. Sure as well? <laughs> You've had a stinker here, mate, haven't you? This is good. Boozing will be open, is it? Aye, Sunday dinner. Right, we're off to the pub for some bait. We're in. So I didn't get me chip butty, however, I did get a ham and peas pudding with chips, so I'm happy with that. Is this some sort of mad challenge of like, trying to simply jack it up whilst blindfold? This isn't a good advert for Gobik, what's happening is it? That's it. There you go, and that's better. Hey, that was incredible. This is how the Festive 500 is ending for this little group. Jeff's got another puncture. We're rapidly losing light, so I'm gonna crack on and get home. We're one fifth of the way through with the Festive 500. There's absolutely no chance Adam's gonna get it done, is there? Can he knack it already, like? Anyway, we're gonna get crack with it, Most of all, have a good Christmas, lads. All right, approximately two mile from home, 80 mile on the clock, and uh, yeah, it's been not the start to the Festive 500 that I would like. Uh, Jeff's had two punctures. And then look at this, two mile from home. I mean, look at the size of that thing. I mean, that's ridiculous. Also, I'm not convinced I'm gonna get home on it because it's actually punctured the rim tape. And I'm not convinced it hasn't actually gone through into the carbon rim. What a shit start of the Festive 500. All for a digital badge. You don't even get a cloth one these days. Madness. Anyway, let's get crap with the nap. Most of all, now daft.